Arch Lords, Afghanistan. Three decades of war have divided Afghanistan. Violence from terrorist groups and drug lords have stoked fear within the population. While the wealthy hide from violence and crime behind huge blast walls, the rest of the country are left to fend for themselves. Journalists, activists and artists have been threatened and killed. Amongst the chaos, one group is nurturing hope. Art Lords is a grassroots movement of artists and volunteers. They are turning Afghanistan into a canvas by encouraging citizens to paint on the blast walls about the issues they confront in their daily lives. Themes within the paintings include corruption, women's rights and polio eradication. The murals criticise the rich and powerful, such as the painting of a black SUV which reads What are you carrying? That your windows are black, you don't have a license plate and you don't stop for searches. Their most famous artwork, I See You, vanished days after completion. The piece depicted a pair of eyes, painted onto the walls of the National Directorate of Security and was a warning to corrupt officials. Other paintings celebrated women who died serving Afghanistan and victims of random violence. On International Women's Day, March 2018, they painted Professor Hamida Bamaki, a human rights defender who lost her life in a terrorist attack. Their work has turned a symbol of fear, tension and separation into a platform where social issues can be expressed visually, creating a space for conversation. Our Lords are working in conditions where they're facing threats. They are standing up for something in a country where they face persecution for doing so, and I think it's really important that their message is heard. Art Lords has been threatened many times. They've been accused of being infidels, being CIA spies and standing against Sharia law. Despite this, they've completed over 400 murals in 16 provinces of Afghanistan, winning acclaim and becoming a beacon of hope in the country.